Well, now I'm going to change the rear shocks. I still don't have four wheel drive, but I'm going to change the rear shocks because the front shocks are done. And I finally have brakes again. Shocking. So, this should be fairly easy so far. It looks like everything is 17 millimeter. Shocking. If I don't break anything off. Shocking. And you get the shocks out of the other side. Shocking. But you need to go that way. Shocking. Rubber bushings. We're recording. Nice. There are the bushings, bolts. that are very much so a different size from the ones that are on it. Shocking. And shock. Shocking. Made in Japan. Shocking. I'm getting tired of it. You know the, the watchers are getting tired of it. What? <laughs> <laughs> all righty all righty no more shocking so, only because you got a weapon and you may hit me <laughs> all right i'll take the box over there because there are instructions there if i need them which i shouldn't these are fairly straightforward if i can get the old ones off and i'm in the garage because it keeps raining <laughs> <laughs> There's a Weezer joke in there, but I won't make one. Or a Toto joke. Or a Toto joke, too. Yeah. And we're not in Kansas anymore. No. And we no longer miss the rains. The rains can stop now. Yes. Okay. Now here comes the fun part. Actually, I need to do the top first. <laughs> hmm. Stop. Do the top. Now, is there any safety things I need to know before I try this on my, so on my own, if I was to try this on my own? Uh, on these, not so bad. If you're replacing the springs, then yes, you got to be really careful with doing the springs. I'm not doing springs right now. With these, the main thing with these is just uh, make sure you have a wrench that will fit in there that's thin enough so that you can do the double nut. They have a double nut at the top that's a lock. And you've got to separate them out, which can be a challenge. Well, that's not looser. That's just stripped. I'm going to say, is that rounder? Mm-hmm. Don't hit yourself in the head with a wrench. I, I missed, but that was close. <laughs> I suppose that's a good piece There's of something that happened. And yeah. be aware of jack stands. I have jack stands and jack under this. Yeah. <clears throat> and I do apologize for the weird camera angles here, but I'd rather you get a weird <sighs> camera angle and him have it safe than you get a really good one and me get beamed in the head with a wrench. This is generally the hard part. <laughs> Hmm. Sledgehammer? Uh, I'm trying to figure out if I can get am I yeah I'm, I'm down it's moved a little bit not much though is that the right way there's the question <laughs> I can't tell you that one because this should be left all right, so the way you're turning it right now is clockwise. Well, no, it's counterclockwise. Yeah, counterclockwise. My bad. You're... I have a breaker bar I could be doing this with. But if you start using a breaker bar, I don't think people will recognize you anymore. <clears throat> this weird trick is kind of what you're known for. That and this tor the racing turtle here. <laughs> yeah. That's what we decided the name of this vehicle is, is Tort the Racing Turtle. Tort the Racing Turtle. Wrong way. <sighs> I wasn't ready to undo that. The good thing is they give you new nuts, so you don't have to use these again. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. 
Oh, use that joke too much. <clears throat> you know, I hear Almond Joy has nuts. I'm not continuing this. Out of the interest of our audience. <laughs> Come on, we're, we're... Now we're stopping our traditional weirdo jokes, and now you're wearing a new shirt today? I've owned this one before. And it's really hot. And rainy. Next thing you're going to tell me not to make fun of your bald spot anymore. <laughs> you know I don't care. <laughs> I've earned it. <laughs> I've hit my head on a lot of stuff to get that bald spot. <laughs> Including a parking lot. I'm still mad that they repaved it before I got to see the hole I put in it. <laughs> if you ever wonder why he's called Crazy Carl... <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it wouldn't let my wrench loose. Ow, that's hot. That's hot. <laughs> now I got the other one to get off, which is going to be all kinds of fun. Not doing the smoking joke. I'm contemplating. I'll just stop this. <laughs> um. Why'd you have to be up there? Uh, I was going to say, there's oil filter wrenches. Uh, um, the nice thing about it is it don't matter. This is a junk wrench. I'm just going to, or junk shock, so I'm going to crush the, the casing here. Mm -hmm. But uh, the pliers I need are up there. <laughs> Which means I have to get up. Um, better be, better <laughs> you than I. Getting old makes up and down harder. Did I just hit the camera? You hit the microphone. Ah. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Ha! I got new ones. I forgot about new ones. How about not a sponsor? Yep. I broke a bunch of them, so I bought some new heavier ones. <laughs> uh. yeah. Please like, share, and subscribe, by the way. If you enjoy content like this. Or maybe you just want me to not make bad jokes. <laughs> well, I'm opening a container with a spatula. <laughs> Please like, share, and subscribe so we can get proper equipment so we can open things with knives. I don't even know why it's, I don't know why this is here. This should be hanging up somewhere. I'm just going to sit there. Know. With your organization, amazing organizational skills here. Well, I shared this with other people, so... Yeah. If I put something away, then I can't find it when I go to use it. <laughs> if someone else has put it away. <laughs> Screwdriver I borrowed that one time was in the right spot. Define spot and right. I don't know if these are going to open up enough. Nope. Pipe wrench? Will you hand me the ball peen hammer? That one you'll have to get up because I can't get past you to get it. Nope. Nope. That one. Yes. All right. Don't worry, we've already made our one requisite Metallica joke for that. I ain't doing that again. All right, let's get you to spin the other way. Let's spin you around so I can beat the other side in. Oh, easy way to do that. Does this count as heavy metal? And yes, you really shouldn't be doing it this way because it bounced back in your chest and hurt you. Do as I say, not as I do. And now your pliers fit. And you wondered why I didn't want to uh, be near you when you were cutting that box open that one time. <laughs> now I gotta tighten the pliers down. I didn't need that piece of plastic anyways. We'll get another one someday. Yeah, we want to get new trim pieces for this. 
No, you and Kit want to get new trim pieces for this. That's what I said. We want to get new trim pieces for this. Because Tort the Racing Turtle deserves something better than something held in by a, a deck screw. screw. A deck screw. Yeah. I got to fix the uh, weight reduction in these back corner panels. I'm going to do something with that. No. All future plans. Hmm. Fins? <laughs> yes. <laughs> like a Cadillac, like a 50s Cadillac. No, 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 the no, the, the flat fins. Like oh. a 50, late 50s Ford or Chrysler. Yes. Here we go, go all the way back out into the side. Early 60s. <clears throat> We'll truly make it a tort the racing turtle. We'll put a supercharger in the engine. I'm so glad I'm not gonna have to reuse these. But 17 millimeter again. Seems to be the most common sizes on this car are 17, 14, 12, 10, 8. There's a couple of nines. So 24, 23. So, um... Hike? Yeah. I wonder if that was uh, the combination for the uh, vault at the company. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's locker in high school. I don't know what animal I'm calling, but I hope it don't show up. <laughs> if we get any lovesick cats around here... <laughs> And my arm's tired. <laughs> oh, gee, I wonder why. Oh, you did oath strength. Oh, I will stop with the sarcastic. You did oath strength an entire two nuts. Whew. Most people would have used a breaker bar. It's up there. I didn't even have you grab it when you were up. No. <laughs> the, the interesting part is... <laughs> Is <laughs> the sheet metal in the way? That's all right. This will drop down. Ah, okay. What'll drop down, Joe? Joe. Oh, oh, the shock will drop down when I take this bolt off, and that'll just drop down out of the way. So, there you go. Ah, I get to do the bottom part. Yes. Now the question is: Is which way do I do counterclockwise? <laughs> Because technically, I wouldn't be clockwise from this side. For doing. Dubida, dubida, dibida. Or is it. Dibida, dubida, dibida. Life goes on. Hey. <clears throat> la 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 la, life goes on. Did they give me a bolt? They did not, but I have bolts if I break this bolt. I'm hoping I don't, but as I. Do I have bolts if I break this? It's a legitimate question. For you, yes. I need the breaker bar. I need to hold the camera. <laughs> Put me on the right side of the camera. He gives me the camera and expects me not to shoot him. Somebody's Is that one get... right there? This one? Yeah, that one. Somebody's gonna get shot in a second, yes. <laughs> Thank you. you Here's not, your camera back. You should not tease me when I'm holding heavy tools. <laughs> I'll finish what the parking lot didn't. Uh wrong thing. Okay. Hooking the socket to the breaker bar does the socket wrench to the breaker bar didn't really work. No. And it doesn't even give you a cool story to tell at parties. The other side doesn't have one of these though, so that's going to make it a little more difficult. Oh, you're just not going to line up just right. Maybe if I, let's see, if I turn this there, I can, I'm trying to use the toe hook for checkpoint, but it's not going to cooperate with me because the, 
just not gonna go on the nut in such a way where I can get it there. Well, I can use the floor. Maybe. If that's the right way. Up or down, down or up, left or right. Slide, slide. I was gonna say BA start, but. You know it's possible? What? I may need to invest in a second breaker bar. For? <laughs> when I have two sides to break. Mm. Yeah, you may need to invest in a second breaker bar. Yep, I'm going the right way. It's up. You better be, mister. It sure feels like it. Up, outside would be down. Oh, it'd be. Whew. Any survivors? Maybe. Uh, up. <clears throat> Sounded like that was the sound of it. Down. <sighs> a wrench hitting the floor. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm okay, although there's smoke. I think I sparked the light. <clears throat> there you go. Let's try this. If I put you there, then you'll catch on that, which is a cross member for stabilizer bar. That's it. Okay. Either way, it's it's stable enough to hold the wrench. Simple, not easy. <laughs> Nothing easy ever, nothing simple ever is. <clears throat> Will your impact drill help on this? If I could get it in there. Hmm. But the problem is, is I've got a uh, jack stand on the back side blocking it and a brake hub on the other. <clears throat> and mine's not high enough impact for this. Mm. Like I said, you probably want to sit down because I got stuff to show. You might want to move that broom though before you sit on it. That would not feel good. It'd be funny though, but the camera's not going to catch it. <laughs> I'd love to know your priorities in the right spot. <laughs> but uh, I got it. It ended up being turning this way. Used the wrench and caught this back here to hold it. Yep, yeah, and pushing down. And got it through, pushing down. And I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to reuse this or not. I might be able to. I'm going to clean up the thread, see if it cleans up some. It might clean up fine. Now you're trying to call mice? I know, it's squeaking bad. But I'll clean it up and try putting some antices on it, see if it turns better. Because it's a good hardened bolt. And if it don't, then I've got some that'll work. It's 17 millimeter with, you well, know, once upon a time it said what the shaft was. But if you had to buy a replacement, these are going to end up being bigger than 17 millimeter because that's a, like most of the things on this vehicle, I can tell you right now, that shaft is going to be thicker than you have on a normal 17 millimeter bolt. So it's probably going to go up. Oh, if it's like most things on this car, it's been like 14 went to 17. 14 millimeter bolt went to a 17 millimeter bolt to get the right shaft. Um, you're probably going to go up to, it's probably going to be a 20 millimeter. More than likely. Not sure on that, but, uh, and this is where I talked about it. it's going to drop out. Okay. Dead shot. And it's got new bushings, rubber bushings and stuff on the new one. So it came with all that. Got a bag. Got a baggie. Came with nuts and chucks and butts, bolts and all kinds of stuff for that. Doesn't have, these have a, a metal inset. But, uh, nope, nope, never mind. 
It's not a metal inset, it's just covered in rust. <laughs> <laughs> All when right. your bolt is so old, it has a rust metal in the middle of the rubber bushing on it. Brush, I need a brush. Clean the rust out of the opening. This sound, just a little rusty. I need it for the bolt anyways. I still don't know where my steel brush went to. I'm using the brass one for everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but just clean some of the rust off of the out of the hole for the shock there. I'm gonna clean this off too. Just a little bit. It's not that big a deal. But eh, I don't mind having a little cleaner. These go with the plates down. The old ones are kind of the same way, but the rounded surface is going to be up on that one. And this goes into the Show. socket. Show. This goes into here, like that. And the bottom one will go up like that on the shock, but I'll just have it sitting on the shock with the plate sitting like that. Thank you very much. Yep. And yep. if you ever like, I'm not sure or whatever, just photograph the shot. original. Nice thing with the back mm. ones; they're both the same way. So, and we determine counterclockwise, turn that way, and the wrench coming down this way. So, up on that side, down on this side. And there we go. Here we go. Now. Unfortunately, you have to take the shock, the restrainer off of the shock, which means you're going to have to push up on it. If you don't have the strength to compress it, you can use a jack. Um, something else you can do is leave that on and cut it off after you have it set kind of into place. But this is easier for me to do. Oh, strength. And then I was going to add another washer to it. I am going to use anti-seize. The bolts are actually, it's fine. I've cleaned the threads. Still a little tight on these inner threads. But um, I'm going to use some anti-seize on it. And uh, so hopefully it tightens down well. And it will come off again someday in the future. If it ever needs to. Does it say Loctite? You can use Loctite on it. Just don't use red. <clears throat> Only use red if you hate whoever's going to take it off next. Here comes the finagle part, getting this to line up. This is slightly bent, so besides, yeah, need a finagler, one finagler, a little lighty tappy tappy, there we go, finagled. But see, that gets that one, you'll put this, which I got nice and dirty. On top there, which I should have done before I put that in there, but there you go. It was on there, I knocked it off, so. Okay. But you kind of want to have that on there because it does not want to fit between that gap. But, eh, it worked. You can finagle it. Finagle, finagle, finagle. Where did I do with my, there it is. And I am putting a little anti-seize on this, inside of this nut, so that... Hopefully, it will go on good and not become a permanent fixture in the future. You notice I'm just putting it on the inside. Not didn't really mean to get it on the inside inside, but but. So you're just putting it on the inner ring, not necessarily on the threads. Yeah. Well, I was putting it on the threads. I put it on the inner threads. All right. That way, it threads it it oils the I was trying not to get it on the inside and I did anyways because see that this gets it it gives a good job of threading it okay so you put it on the threads and it you yeah know, yeah it. inside threads and they'll lubricate the whole thing and there they are nope those are gloves where did, where did I do Right behind you, literally directly behind you. Of course they're right behind me. Where I can't see. Yep. Why wouldn't I put something where I can see it? 
I don't know. Since when did you start doing that? You don't put things where you can see them. So I am using the new ones. The new ones are 14. I'm doing the opposite of what they did. You have a small one and a big one. Um, I'm putting the big one on first. Why are you putting the big one on first? So that you can actually get a wrench on it easier. Hmm. Because the small one's hard to grab without grabbing the other one. And you're double locking this. And I'm only putting it on the inside so where it's up against the the sh strut shock, the shock yeah. is uh, not gonna weld itself. So it's like the washer plate thing. Yeah. For the shock. That way it's not welding itself to yeah. that. There goes Kim, more camera guy expert terminology again. The doohickey with the thingamabob and the doohickey. Exactly. The thingamajigger and the doohicker. Oh, wrong way. And somewhere there's torque specs. I don't know what they are. Just don't over squeeze the rubber too much. They should be nice and squished, but not super, super squished. Mm. So just till it's good and tight. Oh, I'm gonna lay down and do this. This is much easier than either one of the front ones. Oh yeah. These kind are normal, they're fairly easy. And actually what's funny is I'm used to this style actually being what's on the front of four wheel drives too. Because mm. I'm used to dealing with old Jeep styles, which means their leaf springs. <laughs> so it's leaf springs with shocks. The shocks are the easy part, the leaf springs are the hard part, which you luckily don't have to change them very often. What, you don't want to beat that one in? <laughs> no. When I can't do that, that means it's tight enough. Oh, wrong way. This is backwards. That's the tightest thing. We'll get it. Now let's twist that out so it's facing nice, so you can show off the K K Y strut. Not a sponsor. Nope. Well, that's not how well, that works. But and the nut will go on the back there. Good and tight. You can look up the specs. The new ones that came with it were 14 millimeter. And the reason why you do two is because that counter locks it. So it locks it so it won't back off. So it counter locks it? Yeah, if you use two nuts, and tighten it down together they're less likely to back up because they have to loosen against each other so they mm. when one's backing off it tightens oh okay it makes sense but like i said you want to put the small one they give you a big one a small one small one on top this makes it easier because a whole lot easier to get off later looks appears to be the only pain in the butt is making sure when you're tightening it you're only grabbing the one and not both yep. And that should be good. The rubber's compressed. It's good and tight. As tight as that's going to get. Now it's going to do the bottom. Did I start the nut? I did start the nut. Okay. And this I put anti seize on too. And this time it'll be this way. I had to shut the camera off because somebody rolled by with a really loud sound system playing well, copyrighted well, music. Well, all they missed was me trying to hold the wrong nut, so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, not trying to hold a nut. Can't even find the right one. That's good and tight. Yep. And one down, one 
one to go. Hey, look. It didn't take four days. <laughs> it didn't take six months. All right, we're on side two. This one, there's less shock to take off. <laughs> it is kind of, as you can see, the shielding is a lot of rusted away. But same deal, same procedure, just opposite side. Same and, shock even. Yeah. They're both the same shock. And I've used all my shocking KYB, goods I'm allowed, so. gas adjust. Caution, under pressure, avoid fire or flame. Do not disassemble, do not use torch, do not puncture or incinerate. It might be an explosive experience. Mm -hmm. Don't you run away. Doesn't say anything about mall though, so if you want a chew toy. I never know, this side might be better. Although this side for counterclockwise will be the way I try to on the first the other side. I've just noticed something I've never paid attention to. Well, I'm sure I've noticed this, but they have a notch out for the toe point over there. Mm -hmm. I haven't even paid attention to the toe point over here too, exactly the same. Hmm. I'm sure I noticed it, but I never paid attention to the fact that it's there and it doesn't stick out so it's hidden from behind. Because they don't have the plastic notch, it's for the uh, it's where the exhaust is on this side. Hmm. So the toe is right here. Yep. So I'm gonna show y'all right here. Whatever it says these weren't really for off road. They were. Honestly, they're more for off road than a lot of SUVs Anything are sold today. Anything you get today. Yep. I mean, I, li I like my little. Uh, Tuxin, but it's not an off-road vehicle. No, nope. so I ended up buying an old one instead of buying a new one. <clears throat> old one, the dang thing, dang near qualifies for Social Security. Old one. That's the other old one. <laughs> I'm not a good angle for leverage. All right, let's see. Step out of the way so I can move back further. <clears throat> back to space. That's part of why I don't normally do stuff in the garage. Yeah. Uh, eventually I'll get stuff cleared out of the way. I've either got to buy parts for that to fix the transaxle on that lawnmower or just get, get rid of it. <clears throat> I don't know who would want it, but. You got a good motor. It's actually a collectible, kind of. Mm. Yazoo's been out of bit out of production for a long time. So that thing's a collectible? Yeah. People, a lot of people turn them into racers and everything else. <clears throat> Did not know that was possible with the uh, lawnmower. Yeah. <clears throat> but I just liked it because it was a good lawnmower. But it stripped, the drive gear stripped, and I haven't been able to find a replacement. Yeah. He's talking about that thing buried under there. That's supposed to be a project if we could find the parts. It's been a project for a long time. Transaction stripped out of me. It was actually my daily use mower. Uh, leave it to me to use a 30 year old lawnmower. Yeah. And the gears and the transaxle stripped. And I can buy a new transaxle, but they're about $1,200. Mm -hmm. And it's a $300 lawnmower. And I'm not turning it into a racer, so I'll just let someone else have it if they want it i can't get the parts it's just two gears and a pulley but i can't find anyone that has the two gears and a pulley hmm. and unfortunately lawnmowers aren't like other not like cars you just can't go to a junkyard and pick well they've all been picked over those transmissions are probably for racing mowers mm -hmm. so guess what you can't find mm -hmm. i actually drove four counties over to get one from a place that had one and someone came by that morning and picked it up and they forgot they didn't even realize it because mm -hmm. someone else in the store had sold it. Yeah. They bought the whole mower to use the drivetrain out because it's a uh, Tecumseh gear drive. And apparently those are popular in racing mowers. Thought you know, Tecumseh is out of business, aren't they? Yeah, well they belong to Husqvarna now. And they still made, but they're just... 
not worth buying a new one. That's why they're, you know, a thousand dollars or more. Because people mm. use them in racing builds. I had a friend that was trying to get into it. And I started messing with one when I was, before I got a driver's license, when I was a teen. Mm hmm Till I broke the wells on the front steering rack and had to pay to fix that. Then it went back to being a lawnmower. <laughs> As a kid, when you have to pay for something, that's about the point you stop. <laughs> like, all right, this is getting expensive. No, I'm not doing this. Let's see, it cost me about $300 to fix it. Yeah. $250, which was, I had all of $300 saved up, so it kind of killed any money I had to make it into a racer, so I just quit. Yeah. This was the mid 90s. Hmm. So, $300 was a little more money than it is now. Not a whole lot, but a little bit more. Mid 90s, about 500 bucks. Yeah. These days. Still hurts when it was a year. You know, everything you saved up for a year. Hurts when you're like, what? How old were you? 13. Oh, good lord. That'd kill me. I was 13. I had to give that much money up. Everything I'd been able to earn. Never had that much money when I was that young. My dad always did a good job of kind of paying me as a as a hand when I mm. helped with stuff. So I could earn a little extra by doing this and doing that. And I worked for the neighbors a couple of times doing this and that. And it's been an odd job, man. Odd job, handyman, jack of all trades since I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> so you weren't quite a junk mechanic yet but you were a micro junk mechanic oh well, i did that's part of why this hand had so much trouble i dropped that lawnmower on it and yeah it was swollen for about a week hmm. it fell off the jack and landed on the hand and it hurt there was no wheel on it piece of rope or a zip tie Cause this thing keeps it keeps dropping back down like that and counteracting my progress so i need to tie it up we'll look for something i got a broken zip tie but that ain't gonna help me no ah zip tie <clears throat> Them ties are a brilliant thing to have. They're good to just have around. There we go. That should hold the wrench up where it's supposed to be so that it quits dropping back down and losing my progress. Yeah, the easier way is to use an an impact driver, but we ain't got one that's powerful enough to do that. Yeah, we got I got an electric one, 12 volt. And it's nice, but it's like 400 pounds, mm -hmm. which doesn't help. No, we need something like 4,000 pounds. <laughs> Discovered why it was on sale. Yeah. It's nice for little jobs. Yeah. That, that nut is about to fall off, man. That thing is close. That's good. Let's see if I can do it with the wrench now. work if I had the wrench the right way. Ugh. Need some snippers? Probably. Nope, got it. I figured that thing would break out easy. It's been sitting over there rotting for a while. That's why it was laying on the floor. They were ones that ended up in sunlight. Mm -hmm. So they got left in a spot they shouldn't have. So they're kind of rotten, so they don't work very good, but they work fine for this. And yes, you could use a PB Blaster, yada, 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 but they're good to use to help break stuff loose and all that good stuff, but it also makes mud. Yeah. <laughs> when you have a dirty vehicle so that's why I'm not using it unless I get something that just absolutely won't move and right now I'm just brushing off the the bolts so I can not ready go 
Okay, now let's get this one out of here. This one's being a little, the other one just came right out. This one's being a little more difficult. Needs a little bit of persuasion. And I'm going to show you how to do this with the banding strap still on. Just in case you don't have the strength I do. So, come on, there we go. There we go. Brushy brush. Remember, rust dust is uh, not an FDA approved iron source. No, so don't, please don't inhale it. Like I said, don't have to be perfect, just trying to get the loose rust and that stuff off. Let me clean up a little bit. This part might not even be it. Yep, well, it didn't hurt to show that. You didn't really catch that on the other side, what I was doing, what I was cleaning. Yeah, so. basically you're brushing the dust off the holes. And getting the loose rust. See, this mm -hmm. one I'm actually getting a little more. There's a little bit of rust buildup. That's why it would be difficult. Mm. There's some corrosion buildup in that. They's not rusted out, but you don't really want that corrosion in there. Because not only will it bind and rub the rubber, but it also breeds more corrosion. Hmm. So, and this, okay. Oh, I gotta clean that first. That's for the back bit. I'll right, get that in a minute. I don't normally do it this way, so this is actually the pro. This is actually probably the proper way to do this, but. Yeah, it's crazy car projects. Whenever we, whenever have we used a proper way to do anything? Well, normally I end up with vehicles where this doesn't work at all because you have to have this part done first, the upper part, because of how you have to get to it. And so it doesn't matter. This vehicle is actually set up conveniently, so it actually works the right way. That's another win for the... Uh... Late 90s, early 2000s, Kia, easy to work on. Well, the rear suspension is, front. they made up for the front suspension being a nightmare by making the rear suspension easy. Yeah. <laughs> Even the spring's technically easy because you just have to brace up at the frames mm -hmm. and drop the axle down and then get a spring compressor. Yeah. And uh, I don't do spring compressors, so. Yeah, well, yeah, you don't want to be standing in front of wherever that spring may land. Yeah, it shouldn't. You do the press right, it should not go flying anywhere, but mm. if it lets go, I had a relative who died from that. Yeah. So. Exactly. And then you uh, um, aim, make sure your hand's clear. Uh, hang on, hang on, before you do that, show the bottom. Okay. Place to the people so we can all see what exactly you put down there. I put the I haven't put the nut in yet, but I put the bolt in and this is all set. And you probably should I probably should set the bolt on there just to make sure it doesn't fall out. And you line this up there before you cut it. And then this back to the camera guy and my little Thank you. I'll loosely put that nut on there so it's uh just in case it kicks and it doesn't kick that out. But I haven't put anti seize on it, so I'll back that back out afterwards. And you aim. And clip and clear. And this side didn't shoot out right away. Hmm. <laughs> the moment it moved out of the alignment, it did. <laughs> oh, I forgot to put the. Yes, you did. You forgot the rubber part. I get to redo it anyways. Yeah, that was a mistake. That was a mistook. Remember you're making like a rubber metal sandwich, rubber in the meat, rubber as the meat, so. This one's a little tighter. And there you go. Then you do the upper one. Like I said, I never do it this way. Why would I do anything the easy way? Mm. This one, the rubbers are a little... 
I think tighter. You, I think you got a little uh, rust on the threads there. Probably. They look a little reddish brown to me from here. Yeah. Uh, there we go. And get the two nuts. Bigger one first. Here's a random question for you since I get these random questions sometimes. Okay. What if Superman wanted to be a mechanic instead of a superhero? Well, he'd have an easy time of loosening things. Yeah. Although he'd probably break more bolts than I do. <laughs> he probably would snap every wrench that he has. He probably would never use a wrench. True, he might not. Weren't there some things where he did mechanical stuff? I, they've got probably a hundred years of those comics by now. Oh no. <laughs> probably. I'm going to say probably. Superman fans let us know, but I'm going to say probably. Don't look at me, I was never super big into superheroes, and the ones I was into were generally Black Horse stuff, so Dark Horse, so it's, <laughs> it's the weird stuff. Yeah. I think the one I got closest to having a full collection of was the Conan ones. Going in the Barbarian when they re brought them out. Well, this side is going to be mostly like the other side. So. Yep, it's pretty much like the other side, just the other way. <laughs> yep. Just finishing off tightening those together. There we go. That's tight. And it's done. Both right. sides done. All that's left put the wheels back on. There you go. There's two shocks changed in less the amount of time it took us to change one. Yep. Rear ones are a whole lot easier. Actually did a whole bunch of stuff. I today we've tested the hubs, adjusted the drum adjuster on this one because it over adjusted out, changed the struts out, changed the shocks out in the rear, and I topped off fluids and Love the whole thing, so yeah, very productive day. Alrighty, you. if you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. If you didn't, if you have enemies, share it with them. Yes, <laughs> after all, why should you suffer alone? And, and till yeah, yeah, that's it. Till next time, well, see you later. Later. So long.